Okay, boys and girls, you need your countdown book and you're going to be turning to page 37 today. So pause this video, go grab your book and a pencil and then start it back up when you're ready to go. All right, are you guys on page 37? Let's get started. Remember, when we're doing a word sort, I will always model the first one or two words to show you how to sort the words. Sorting words will help us pay attention to the spelling of the words. First, we're going to underline the vowels. Next, we're going to count the number of syllables and circle the correct number. Last, if there are two syllables, we're going to draw a line to separate those syllables. Let's get started. Here we go. So let's look at number one. So the first thing we need to do is underline the vowels. Oh, I see I and I. Did you guys underline those? Nice job. Now, are these vowels next to each other? You're right. They're not next to each other, are they? So if they're not next to each other, how many syllables do we have? You're right, two syllables. So now I have to separate my syllables to make it easier to read. All right, so I'm gonna draw my line right here because remember I wanna close in my vowel. Let's read this word. Ick, pick, ick, nick, pick, nick. Nice job. Let's go to number two. Underline that vowel. Ooh, did you guys underline E? How many vowels did you see? Oh, you're right. There's only one. So that means how many syllables are in my word? You're right. Only one. Let's read that word. St -e -p Step. Nice job. Let's do one more together and then you can finish. All right, number three, underline those vowels. Ooh, did you underline A and I? Nice job. So now our next question, how many vowels are there? You're right, there are two. Are they next to each other? They're not, so that must mean how many syllables are in this word? You're right, there are two syllables. Now remember, I have to close in my vowel, so I'm gonna draw my line right here because I need this vowel to say it short sound. Ready? Rad, rad, ish, ish. Rad, ish, rad, ish. Radish, I like to grow radishes in my garden. All right, boys and girls, pause this video. I want you to finish this page and then come back and check with me. See you in a few minutes. Hey, boys and girls, did you get all finished up? All right, let's go and check your words. Ooh, did you underline you? You're right, that means there is one syllable. I bet you guys all knew this word without even sounding it out because this is a sight word. You're right, jump. <clears throat> Number five, did you underline the I and the E? <laughs> Good job. So we know they're not next to each other, so that means there are two syllables. We divide it so that it is, this vowel is closed in. Insect, insect, nice job. Number six, what was the vowel? You, oh, there's only one vowel, so how many syllables? You're right, only one. Ooh, number seven. Did you underline A? Good job. If there's only one vowel, how many syllables? You're right, one. Number eight. Did you underline A and U? Are A and U next to each other? You're right, they're not. So that means there are two syllables. Now, boys and girls, as you separated this, did you see that there's a digraph right here? So we're gonna draw our line here because we want that to go together. So we have bath, tub, bathtub. 
Oh, are you going to put bubbles in your bathtub? Number nine. Did you underline the O and the E? Good job. Now, are those next to each other? They're not, so we know there are two syllables. We divide our syllables, so we have contest. Contest. Are you participating in Mrs. Homan's contest each week? Ooh, number 10. Did you underline that A? Good job. So if there's only one vowel, how many syllables? You're right, just one. Nice job. Awesome working so hard. Oh, we didn't read that last word. Let's go back and read it. Ready? T -r -ash. Trash. Is it your job to take out the trash at your house? Nice job, boys and girls. Have a great day.